Okay, my last video got taken down. I thought I had done nothing different than the other thousands of videos showing people how to install Kodi on devices. I tr apparently triggered someone that I was showing things in Kodi that are that are naughty. So I got my first strike. Um, I really don't know what I can and can't do. I it seems to be random. It's I'm kind of amazed at that considering all the other videos on YouTube but it is what it is so let's try again this is my $20 Walmart on 4k streaming box I have installed lineage OS 19.1 um, this is an unsupported device and this is an early build that does not completely work so I will kind of give you an overview of this Less the naughty bits, I guess, assuming that I could even remember what I did that was wrong. <clears throat> uh, and there's some contrast issues with my highlighted regions. I'll try and move around to make sure you can read the text. So we are looking at Android TV OS version 12. Uh, the retail build on these devices is, is Android TV OS 10, so it's newer. Uh, here is the build string. This is a month old build. Pretty current on the security patches. So less system overhead. You're looking at 4.8 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, Currently have a thumb drive attached for external storage. Um, it's formatted in XFAT to circumvent the four. I shouldn't say circumvent. Maybe that got me into trouble. That's naughty too. You can't use big files. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? But it's XFAT formatted uh, to allow files greater than four gigabyte in size. Maybe certain words triggers people and they, they cancel me. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, and after my testing, I've got 1.8 gigabytes of free space left. That's the apps I've installed, and I assume some browsing temp files, because I did install Firefox and did some browsing. Um, internal free space goes fast. So, that's... Uh, Obviously why there's videos out there on how to do the, I think they call it merge storage, where you can expand your internal storage via an ex external device. Um, I'm not going to go over that. There's so many videos of that already. So here is the homepage, standard tvOS stuff. Not that exciting. Okay, so the build does include the Google Play Store framework, which is nice. Lineage OS, at least the builds that I've always used, CyanogenMod. Also, you had to chase down the Google Play stuff separately, not here. So that was nice. Um, I installed everything else. Kodi works fine. I'm not going to show you anything with it because someone will probably complain that it's too naughty. But it runs fine. Netflix and Prime Video don't work because there's a DRM issue with this build. Um, everything else works as expected. I, I mean, I've not done extensive testing other than installing it. And to be honest, the installation was challenging. Um, my prior video, I, I did rant. Even for me, it was a bit excessive um, about the installation process. But to be fair... I've only used one PC, one of these devices, and one build. I will go ahead and try, I, and I've never had a problem like this with this PC, but, you know, there's always weird, like a, I don't even know a term, but kind of a weird combination, random interoperability issue. That's, I'm making up a, a word, I guess. But I'll try a different PC. Um, <clears throat> 
with a different USB chipset and different cables. I might even buy another one of these boxes. Why not? It's 20 bucks. Uh, I did feel like I was getting really close to breaking th this thing. I did get it stuck where it was just hanging, not even in a recovery environment and having a lot of issues trying to get it out of that mode. So just be warned, it's, it's a real challenging device to get flashed right now. So maybe I need to try it again, mix some variables up. Um, that being said, if DRM worked, I would definitely be buying a lot of these and taking my chances trying to get it flashed because for $20, if I could get Netflix and Prime to work, and it's clean, it's decrapified, it doesn't have a lot, it has nothing installed um, except what you choose. That is a perfect, perfect device, except for uh, my other complaints. No SD or no SD slot or USB port. So I am using a standard Android OTG cable. They work. I don't like them. Uh, but it's 20 bucks. For $20, I really can't complain. It won't stop me from doing yeah, but. But it's 20 bucks. Uh, and if you can buy these, it's a gamble. Buy some now. They don't fix DRM. Is that something you would want? I guarantee you, once DRM get fi gets fixed, people will buy these up, and you won't be able to get them cheap. It'll be exactly the same situation as the PlayStation Classic. Uh, they dropped the price considerably. Nobody really wanted them, and then the minute people figured out you could hack them, geeks bought them all up, and you couldn't buy them cheap. So th there's the thing. I'm right now trying to decide whether I should buy more or not. If it's worth it, the way they are right now without DRM. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about that. I might just buy another one just for testing. But, the, you know, the window closes fast. Geeks know. And as soon as this gets a good build, you won't be able to find them cheap. So, there you go.